Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the best ways to enjoy your photography on your Synology NAS. Now I talked about this subject before but this is my 2020 series tutorials for Synology NAS in line with the release of their brand new 20 plus series of disk station devices. Today I'm going to go through the two main photo applications, photo station and moments. I'm going to look at these two applications here and I'm going to show you how to set up both applications as well as talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages of each to hopefully help you choose which one to go for. Now a few things straight off the bat. I'm going to show you both of these applications fully installed then I'm going to delete both applications and then reinstall to show you guys exactly how to go through it. So that means you'll see what exactly the end result is going to be now and then I'll talk you through how to make the most of it. So right now if we look at this, these are the two apps, Moments and Synology Photo Station. Now, at the end of the year with DSM-7, there is a brand new app coming called Synology Photos, <clears throat> which promises to combine both of these tools into one simple app that has all the advantages of both of them. So we are looking forward to that. But until DSM-7 arrives, let's talk about these two apps. They are the two best ways to enjoy media on your NAS. They come out in a multitude of different uh, tools and tasks behind them. So for example, in PhotoStation, you would use PhotoStation to look at albums in a far more familiar fashion. I've uploaded just a handful of photos from a few albums to this device. You can always just use the FileStation application, of course, to browse images and stuff, but it's quite a poor way to do it and it doesn't feel very intuitive. You can look at photos on here and just sort of load them up a little bit. But again, this doesn't feel very intuitive at all. You can edit them. You can even use some of the client applications, but I wouldn't recommend FileStation for photography. PhotoStation gives you lots of ways in which you can find out a ton of information about photos. So case in point, we're going to go for a picture of Ron, as always, the cat. Actually, even better, we're going to go for a picture of this Christmas tree. Now, this picture of a Christmas tree, we've seen information here. We can see the device that was used to take the picture. We can see the resolution. We can see lots of information there. But what if you want to go a bit deeper? There is so much information locked into the metadata of this photo. Everything from the aperture to the, the light, the lens, everything, all about this one picture. All of it stored within the Synology NAS. And again, lots of information there throughout these whole albums. It loads up GIFs, as you see here, of my friends looking like idiots. And again, it even stores some information about GIFs, but GIFs don't hold anywhere near as much metadata by comparison. You can have multiple albums set up on the side. You can dedicate them and more. There's lots of different things you can do, flicking between albums, and all of these things are happening over the network on my NAS. Remember, not the internet, the network. You can enable internet access, but it won't be quite as smooth straight away. We'll need some caching in the background, and there's lots of things you can do to make that a lot easier. You can create a whole portfolio if you want to share your information. You can change the theme and the background quite easily at the touch of a button. And again, there's not many themes. There's only the two. I think there's some other ones that you can download and customize, but this is pretty much your, your lot. Um, there are other ways to view your media, for example, uh, on a timeline where you can look at the photos dated. Alternatively, you can go with the map, which uses geolocational data that's been locked into images. And therefore, you can look at images where they were taken around the country or the world. As you see there, more pictures of cats. You're the one with the problem, not me. Um, and just generally, there's lots of ways in which you can sort and look at all of your photos. You can go for nice big grids or go for much bigger ones than that. You can create smart albums, shared albums, and a whole portfolio that you may wish to share professionally. The settings are quite diverse too. There's lots of ways in which you can view the photos, how they're shared, and who can see them how certain photos are managed, how tags are permitted. There is just so much configuration built into PhotoStation. Now, the one downside of PhotoStation, of course, is that it's quite heavy going. It's, you know, it's. I think it's a more professional tool, and that's great to hear for professionals. But what if you're not a professional? What if you just want to look at some photos? That is where Synology Moments comes in. Now, Synology Moments, that second application here, if we scroll down, Synology Moments is an AI-powered 
photo recognition tool. It scans your libraries and you just have to allow it um, permission in the control panel to access those albums on FileStation. It allows you to, it, you allow it to scan your photos. Now these files don't have special names. All of these photos have generally got um, a, a, a name on their file. Well, there's my colleague Dan. The names of these files are going to be something like MVIN image, etc., of dates of photos being taken. What the AI power in the back end of Moments does is it looks at photos. It scans photos digitally and uses deep video and uh, deep photo analytics to then identify them. What it does after that is the following. First and foremost, it will recognize faces. And once you name a face such as me here, it will then find me. And that means every one of these photos it knows is me. Now, sometimes I might be wearing a hat, I might have had a haircut, something might have changed, like in these photos. So in this case, for example, this is me, but it, the AI algorithm has had difficulty placing that these two people are the same person. So you can click that person there, type an R, there I am, and it will merge those two people. And then you can do that until when you upload new pictures of someone, i.e. me, it will then tag them completely and therefore add them with photo recognition, leading you for the ability to just go to the search bar at the top and search for a person. And then boom, it will find all those pictures of Robbie. So it's that straightforward, but it does more than that. And you can also combine people as well. So if we look at this picture here, and that is... Um, Morgan so if we put Morgan in there we then save Morgan we can then go back and start searching for him it's that straightforward but combined searches can happen but they take a little bit longer as you can see an extra second there to find combined photos now it's not just about people you've also got subjects so while it's scanning these pictures it's found different things dining Christmas selfie infant street and you can search by things so for example if we go back to the main heading there and we search for food it will find pictures of food it has scanned and looked at those photos the ai and found pictures of food and this extends quite a lot and there's quite a lot of broken down algorithms and things within those subjects where it's not just Food, it breaks down into different kinds of food too, as you can see. And all of this has been automated. So lots of stuff there. Finally, you have places. Now places will utilize that geolocational data we've discussed and it will find certain things and landmarks as well. But that landmark, I've never really trusted that, so I'm not going to completely vouch for that one. I think that's more me guessing on that one. But with the geolocational data, you can see all of these regions have been locked in. So you can look for certain areas and it will find them. So Moments is that AI-powered tool that's incredibly useful. Now, there's lots of things you can do. It can scan more stuff, you can enable more scanning features, and you can enable or disable a lot of that AI support as you see fit. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, the advantages is obviously a much faster way to catalog your photos, and hopefully the merger of photo station and video station will give that professional feel of photo station um, with the smart AI support of moment so that Synology Photos will have for those facilities. What are the negatives? Well, the idea that the photos have to be in a certain folder. With moments, you have to make sure that the albums that you want catalogued in moments are inside the moments folder. So you're going to drive, there's moments, and there's those albums. Moments requires the photos to be in a preset location. Whether this will change in Synology Photos, we don't know. But it's worth saying that these are the two premier photo apps for Synology, and both of them are available with apps for iOS, Android, as well as desktop tools and more. So how do we install them? Well, let's first and foremost completely remove them. We're going to go into the App Center here and we're going to uninstall both of these apps. We're gonna remove the Moments database. We're gonna show you how to set this up from scratch. And while it does that, we will also remove Photo Station. So it's removing all of the photos it's removing all of the images from PhotoStation as well. 
and then from there we're going to be able to set up this app for the first time there we go we'll remove photo station as well removing that there nice and easy and i'll show you guys just how easy it is to set up and install these apps they've both been removed so now let's reinstall them so first and foremost we're going to install photo station go to packet packages find photo station click install and now it's going to install photo station and then just do the same for moments it's that straightforward to install these applications from there as they're installing, it's now going to download these apps from the internet and it's going to install them gradually. While it does that, it's worth highlighting there are, of course, client applications for both of them. So, for example, if you have a look, it does make recommendations for other applications you can install in the background and do manual installations if their beta of Synology Photos has arrived, but it hasn't. Now, these applications are going to take a minute or two extra to install. So let's fast forward to the completion of that installation. Photo Station has finished and moments will be done very, very soon. But for now, we click open on Photo Station to enjoy our photos. So Photo Station is now going to open up. And as you can see, it's already found the photos that we've put inside our photo album. It's going to scrape metadata, which I'm assuming... It was already grabbed there in the background that was cached in the back end of this device. So this probably isn't going to be as quick for you as it has been for me. But what you need to do is make sure that your photos are in this album. When you set up your device for the first time and set up the shared folder as well as the storage ball and the volume, make sure you go into the photo folder. There's a photo folder that will be readily available and from there create your directories. Now, that you don't have to put it in this folder. There are certain rather obscure workarounds you can do, but for the sake of ease, I strongly recommend just in, um, copying your existing range of photo albums into this folder for Photo Station to find. Now, hopefully that is one of the things that Synology Photos will resolve, but if you put the albums in there, they'll then get picked up by Photo Station where it will begin to ga gather all of that information that we've just discussed, all the information there in the background and more. So, what about Synology Moments? Synology Moments isn't quite finished there, but while we're going on in the background, let's talk a little bit about folder structure. Because with Synology Moments, you do need to put your photos in a different location. And yes, there is a workaround, but with Synology Moments, you have to put the photos in the moment folder once you install moments it will create this folder here which it has already done and in that moments folder is where that data needs to live so it will create these directories by default once you're installing that application and then just make sure your albums are in there for recognition now i know a number of you are not going to be best pleased about having photos in two separate locations it's one of the main reasons why they are consolidating both moments and photo station both of them work at their most optimal performance of caching and indexing because they have a pre-designated target for their photos to be garnered from so for now, you may have to choose that way about which one of your directories you're going to use, but you can use certain workarounds in the background to sync two folders together. But it's, I wouldn't recommend it personally because it will double up on data and it does increase the performance required from your NAS. Right now, this NAS is doing about two or three things in the background and that is affecting my overall utilization. And Moments has finished installing. Before you go ahead with Moments though, I do strongly recommend that you just double check to make sure that Moments is mentioned in your indexing services. Head over to the control panel and then from there go down to indexing services. You may not see that, you might be looking at basic mode where half the options are missing but it's still down there. For there, scroll right on down and you'll be able to see it, sorry, there at the top, applications for indexing. Make sure that Moments is listed on there because you will need to make sure that photos are being indexed. You can even point it at certain different directories for different tools. Although what I will add is that some applications, once again, like Photo Station and Video Station, will have default presets. So right now it's indexing those media files. Why don't we open up this application? So if we open up Moments, it opens in a brand new tab, just like Synology Moments. And it's going to be indexing there in the background. Sorry for the noise of a seagull above me. 
Um, so as we can see, it's letting you know this is the perfect way to enjoy your photos on your NAT, etc. And it will enable auto tagging moving forward if you want. I would recommend that so that once you recognize the person and, and upload more photos of that person, then at least it will get tagged. And that's it really, you can install the application once again for mobile and desktop systems and I have done a full overview on another video. As you can see, from the beginning, there won't be any photos available. Right now, it's indexing all of the photos that I uploaded before. Unlike PhotoStation that was able to grab the metadata and the thumbnail data that was there previously, in the case of Moment, it is now gonna have to find all of that background data. In fact, we can see that the CPU utilization right now is around 55%. And in the background on that control panel, it will still be indexing to get all of those uh, thumbnails, all of the AI recognition, all done there in the background. That'll all be done automatically, and it can take a little bit of extra time depending on if you're a new or existing user on the NAS based on the thumbnails. But otherwise, the NAS itself should finish archiving and getting all that AI recognition and thumbnails put together pretty quickly. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Those have been the two best applications for enjoying multimedia on your NAS. Again, if you are worried about the indexing not finishing, then just go ahead and rerun the indexing tool there with re-indexing on the NAS and just let it know that all that needs to be done and then click apply and it will re-index. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.